in just a few minutes. All right, and that heat isn't going to stop thousands of people who have tickets to the Xfinity Theater for tonight's Florida Georgia Line concert. NBC Connecticut's Kristen Johnson continues our team coverage. She is with the Hartford Police Department. As Kristen, they gear up to patrol tonight's event, right? That's right. These officers behind me have a tough job. They have a hot job tonight. They're going through roll call, and in just mere minutes, they're going to head over to the Xfinity Theater, where they will be patrolling, looking for a lot of different things when they're over there. I spoke with the incident commander in charge of coordinating the police effort tonight. He says they will have upwards of 50 officers walking, cycling, and riding around the outside of the venue. Right now, they're talking about how they need to stay cool as well as they make sure concert goes. Don't overheat and don't overdrink. Typically uh, allocate the number of officers uh, to reflect the number of attendees. The Xfinity Theater is expected to be packed with people over the next two nights, and that means even more police, paramedics, and firefighters than usual will be here as well. Tonight's Florida Georgia Line concert is sold out. A big crowd will also head here to see Hart on Saturday. The theater's general manager says they're taking extra steps to make sure this dangerous heat doesn't ruin the fun for concert goers. The theater is dropping its limit on outside water, allowing guests to bring in an unlimited amount of H2O as long as it's sealed. And we're actually also expanding access to water, so we're going to have water available in more locations so that people can get to it easier. They've also added misters and fans to help concert goers stay cool. Due to traffic concerns, the parking lot will open an hour early, four hours before the opening act even takes the stage. That means there's potential for more tailgating before the show. Alcohol and he do not mix. Dr. Cynthia Price says alcohol throws off your judgment, which in turn makes it harder for your body to realize when it's overheated. If you do drink, she advises to have a bottle of water after every beer. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. hydrate. Dizziness and stomach cramps are your first clue. You need to stop what you're doing and seek relief. Get wet. Get in front of a fan. That will help your evaporative cooling work. That's the easiest way to get cool. When it comes to the extreme heat, it's not just concert goers who are the concern. The parking attendants and traffic officers have a difficult job ahead as well. Theater employees will have popsicles and sports drinks nearby. For our parking staff, we have a couple pickup trucks that will have uh, AC that if someone gets overheated, we can, they can go sit down in a in a pickup truck with the AC going. Um, everyone's going to be uh, in the sunlight. Everyone's going to be out in the heat, and it's it's going to be a tough one. It certainly is, especially if you're wearing one of those dark polyester suits. They are not breathable. A lot of those officers wearing bulletproof vests underneath them and even reflective vests over them, making it just an awful situation for them. The administration did buy them an ice machine. They're all carrying coolers like this with ice and water, and they'll be allowed to take plenty of breaks throughout the evening hours. There's a cooling tent there for them as well. We're going to head over to the concert venue at 5 and 6. We're going to show you how how those fans of Florida Georgia Line are keeping cool and beating the heat tonight. Live in Hartford, Kristen Johnson, NBC Connecticut News. Back to you. Kristen, see if they'll square you a water there for the road, all right? <laughs> There she goes, dipping in. No one saw that. We didn't Nothing see to that. see here. We didn't right? see that. Good <laughs> Thanks, job, Kristen. Kristen. Well,